Hey, oh hey everyone, uh, welcome back. Today I'm going to be making a little special treat. Um, this week at work we have three birthdays, so I am going to be making cake pops. But these are going to be special cake pops because this week also happens to have the day of April the 1st. So I am making cake pops, but instead of cake, it will be Brussels sprouts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Everyone's going to love it. It's gonna be a great birthday celebration and a fantastic April Fool's Day. I am sorry in advance, all of my coworkers. I still love you guys, but come on. It's April Fool's Day. You gotta do something, right? We're all, we're struggling here. We need a little laughter. Okay. So we have some milk and white chocolate with our coconut oil to help us melt anything, our Brussels sprouts, and then also, you gotta have some sprinkles, jazz things up a little bit. And then we also have our little, all of our little sticks for our cake pops. Now, I've already cooked my Brussels sprouts. I had the steamable ones, so I just popped them in the microwave. And then I've already left them cool. So you wanna have them nice and cool, so that way the chocolate can form a nice hard shell. We are gonna go ahead, melt some chocolate, with a little bit of coconut oil. Whew. All right. So for every cup of chocolate, you're going to want a tablespoon of coconut oil. That will help it so the chocolate will melt faster and harden thicker. Except for milk chocolate. Don't use coconut oil and milk chocolate. No, except for white chocolate. Don't use coconut oil on white chocolate. I've made that mistake, don't do it. Nope, okay, that's fine. All right, let's get this melted in the microwave. All right, so we got our chocolate all nice and melted. Now we're gonna go ahead and skewer our Brussels sprouts. So you're gonna take Nice Brussels sprout. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and stick it right at the end, about halfway. Whoa! Oh. I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. And you gotta make sure you take off any loose leaves. This will make it so it actually looks like a cake pop. And you need to cut off the loose leaves so the leaves aren't weighted down by the chocolate and reveal your Brussels sprout. <sighs> Lessons from the future that I wish I knew in the past. All right, now we dip them. <laughs> oh. Let's add some sprinkles to some of them. Oh yeah. This was definitely a lot harder than I thought it would be. I gotta do the white chocolates again because the white chocolate is just so heavy, it's just like falling off. So you can see the green. So I gotta do those again. And I'm gonna wait for these to dry a little bit and then put sprinkles on them or drizzle some white chocolate or else they'll look like that and that's a hot mess. So we'll come back. <laughs> well, I think we did it. 
Oh my goodness, it took, took a bit of effort. I'm not an actual chef, but I think we got some good cake pops. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Look at this. I am so sorry. <laughs> I am so excited to take these to work. They look like cake pops. Like, they look like actual cake pops. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm excited. So, a little tip. I would cook the Brussels sprouts, let them cool, and then maybe let them freeze for just a little bit, just so they're hard and they keep their their shape when you dip them in the chocolate. But, ooh, you guys, this is a very easy prank to do. I highly recommend it. And then, if you do do it, <laughs> I'd love to see some reactions, but, I'm so excited. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>